hello guys in this video i will show you how to develop the custom model in a drupal 9 so developing the custom model is a very important in a drupal suppose if any requirement does not satisfy with the core or the contributed models so in that case we need to develop the custom model so for that first uh, create the go to the model folder in your project so inside the modules folder create the new directory and uh, name it as a custom so we will put the all our custom modules in this folder so now in this video we will i will show you how to uh, develop the hello world custom model so the my model name is hello underscore word so inside this uh, inside the any model the dot uh, info that yaml file is the important so we will create that file so file name is uh, first write the model name word dot uh, info that ml uh, inside this file uh, we will write some uh, information about this model like name so this will be the name of the model uh, like hello underscore world second time it will type what type of this file is so we are developing the model so its type is model third is the description about this model so we will write in the description hello world custom model so I will show you where this text will be visible in the model next is a package so in package we will write uh, this is the custom model again next parameter is the version so our model version is 1.0 and uh, next parameter is the uh, for which Drupal version this model is compatible so we will write the core version requirements so this model is compatible for the Drupal 8 and 9 so for that we will write Drupal 8 pipe pipe and Drupal 9 okay. now save this file now go to the, your website and uh, this is the admin panel of my website click on the extend to enable the model inside the extend uh, on this page search for the model which we have developed recently our model name is hello world so you can see it is uh, now appearing in the list so you can see the description which we have written here hello world custom model and uh, this is the machine name which is coming from the this name now click uh, this model and uh, in click on the install button to install this model you can see the message that uh, model hello world has been enabled so right now this uh, model is not accessible because uh, we have not tried to uh, return any url or anything to access this model so for that uh, we will write the routing so that we will be able to access the page of the model so for that first create the one more, one more file you click on new file and uh, i can write the hello underscore word dot routing dot yaml so 
so in this file uh, we will write the routing details means how to access that uh, page which uh, we are developing so for uh, so in this so we will add the below parameters like uh, hello underscore world dot so this, this will be the your model name and dot and uh, next is the one string which will should be the unique throughout this file okay so you can see this is the this will be the unique identifier so like we will uh, write the hello message so always uh, keep in mind the formatting of this file because because if we miss anything or if we uh, write the code wrongly intended like uh, by adding those four steps uh, means adding tabs or uh, leaving any uh, line empty so that will show you the error so in the yaml file only two tab uh, two spaces are allowed so you will write the next parameter after adding the two spaces the next parameter is the path colon space so on which path you want to access the page okay so like uh, i want to access that page on below path like hello underscore world path if i add the this path in my url so it it should load the the page next parameter is the defaults okay. so inside the defaults we will add the controller name uh, we will write the controller uh, hello world controller we will write the path for that controller here model name controller hello world controller and uh, uh, this will be the our controller name and uh, after that we will write the method name so our method will be um, message we will show the one message or the text with the hello world okay. next parameter is the title so this title will be visible on the page like uh, right now it is here you can see the it is showing the title extend slash dev php uh, sorry pipe dev php so title of our page will be the hello world next parameter is the requirements so inside the requirements we will add the permissions so permission will be the access content ok save this file now i will explain this file one more time so this will be your controller uh, sorry module name and uh, here you can write anything but it should be the unique throughout this file next will be the path parameter inside path uh, we will access this page on this path okay i will change the path to this in the default parameters we will write the path of our controller okay and uh, below after below that uh, there is a title which will be visible on the page requirements will be the access content so now we will write the uh, controller so to write the controller we need again need to create one more folder that folder name is a uh, src and uh, again inside the src folder create one more folder with the controller name we will write the all controller inside this folder 
our controller name is hello world controller I will copy this from here dot PHP okay so write our PHP code with the starting PHP tag after that write the namespace namespace will be the Drupal slash model name and the controller now we will start the writing our class class will be same uh, class name should be same as the what we have written as a file name so I will paste the same now we will write the uh, function public function so this function uh, should be the same what we are written here the function name we here we mention like the message so we will create the function with the same name so this function will return the message so we will write the return and in array markup equal to mass your message so hello world message from custom model okay now save this file and uh, clear the cache for that uh, I am running I am clearing the cache using the trash command to clear the cache is trash cr as you can see the cache is cleared now now we will go to the browser and uh, we will access this page so our page url is uh, which we have mentioned like uh, this is the url of my page I will copy this URL go to browser and uh, paste this yeah you can see the it is showing the message so this is the title and uh, this is the actual message which we have written here in the controller file yeah that's it from this video thank you for the watching and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and let me know if you have any query in the comment section thank you bye